Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends celebrating 85 years anniversary figure I guess line wave whatever you want to call it astonishing Wolverine figure and this artwork I don't know I feel like the figure itself the blue is much lighter than depicted on the artwork it's just a brighter toned figure overall compared to the box or whatever this is from probably from the comic but um yeah i'm actually liking this very like slim down box design and i know that um hasbro was trying to be like very uh environmental friendly so it's a very slim package and the way that it looked in the box was it was very like organized and and it showed you everything like it, it wasn't empty space so yeah cool box you get the artwork on the side there no uh bios anymore though i do wish that they kind of brought back bios of like where it came from but yeah just you know choking hazards and don't put toys in your mouth but um anyway let's take a look at the figure so yeah this is him straight out of the box and um you get this amazing logan head sculpt like look at that tell me that doesn't give off logan vibes with the grumpy that that that's that's great it's great the hair is sculpted well very angled and pointed so that looks good um the stubble i kind of wish they they kind of showcase it a bit more but it's good for what it is you know with the increase in prices i say that this is uh it's worth it it's worth the pickup and even though we do have the hugh jackman figure coming that we'll get into that later but yeah this um sculpt wise it has detailed and sculpted lines throughout the suit. These are movable, so they won't hinder anything. It's just, I really like this suit. I do have, you know, the um, animated series one, but this astonishing suit is really cool too, because it's also like a classic-ish look. But yeah, I like the boots and everything. You can even see some wrinkles here and there. It's really nice. It's really detailed. Wrinkle on Wolverine's butt, but anyway, so um yeah i do like this head sculpt but i don't think that i'd have this on him because you get this alternate head this is amazing just look at that off rip it's the claws the, these are some of the best claws we've gotten to by the way this whole new um i know it's very controversial with this inverted ab crunch because it hinders from going side but you know i like it it's not bad, it's not terrible, to say the least, or whatever. But just, I'm glad to see that, you know, Hasbro's trying out new things, especially since this is, we've had like the same Wolverine buck for how many years? So it's good to see an update. And yeah, there's there's even like, there's like, I don't know if that's uh, I've had, I have played with this figure before, just to, you know, try to work in the joints. It was stiff in the um, double jointed elbows out of box, but since I've worked it in, and um, I will note, the blue is will like the paint does come off, like it's rubbing off on the armpit. So be aware of that if you uh, like to you know pose and play with your figures like I do. But yeah, so he's very well sculpted, very well engineered as well with the new design and deco and everything, and. So I guess we'll go with accessories. You saw the alternate head. He comes with that. He comes with this angry mask head sculpt, which is insane. They even went as far as to paint underneath it, the whole cowl underneath, which is good. That's a good detail because he actually, that is how it's designed. But um, so yeah, these are removable, but I'm not gonna take them out because they're a pain to get back in. And he comes with this splayed out left hand and you can't plug in the claws into any of these other hands, but yeah, it can kind of be like a go X-Men hand, I guess. Pointing hand for when he wants to get up in people's faces, which is quite often actually. And then you get these two fist hands when he just wants to have a bar fight, I guess. But um, yeah, I say it's a pretty good spread of accessories, but in terms of articulation on this guy he is he stacks up very nicely like i think that this is definitely the best wolverine body so let's take a look at articulation 
Okay, so articulation, his head goes up this much, and it is on that um that double ball peg system, but Hasbro still needs to work on it. There is not enough range. Like that's it. That's that's all you get. It I don't know. We can get more than that. Come on, we need more than that. And anyways, so side tilt, not much. You get a little bit of like a a diva head tilt there. Yeah, and down, you're not gonna get any down, basically. Um, armpit joint or butterfly those are tight but they work yeah like look at that it's just you got to really kind of force it which i'm not afraid to do so but yeah you can get them in all types of crazy poses like that that's nice i like that and um like i said earlier these are on that like a peg a very small peg so be careful they will twist around and like move with the, the um the shoulder joint so arms go out that much yeah about there bicep swivel is fine double jointed elbow goes in mostly all the way but since his bicep is so huge it kind of covers or pivots prohibits and you get that hinge going in that much goes out and yeah like the range on the arms is fine but i do wish we got a deeper bend here so with this new tooling he goes forward just up here that much which i'm like why is it so restricted and then back a little bit and then once you include the lower ab crunch he'll go forward that far which is pretty good you know but and then back it goes i feel like it goes back more but i want it to go forward more so i don't know you get the um twist as well or the swivel goes all the way around legs kick out that far that's crazy that is that's why isn't this on every Marvel Legend? I don't know. And so legs will kick up this high. Um, no drop down hips, which doesn't bother me. But his butt hinders from going back. You can get it back to probably about right there. Upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. Very tight, by the way. And also, if you're doing the thigh swivel or trying to do poses or, you know, photography, it breaks up the sculpt. So, I don't know. That does kind of irk me sometimes. And no boot swivel. The old um, body did have a boot swivel. So that's kind of like, uh, I don't know. They had to cut some tooling, I guess. But anyway, boot goes up that much. Goes down about right there. You get your ankle pivot. And yeah, that's for articulation. I'd say that he is... He's probably, yeah, right now, this is the best Wolverine, but after seeing some promo images of the Hugh Jackman uh, Deadpool Wolverine figure, that is going to be crazy. Um, So I would say that this is probably the best comic Wolverine we have right now, but let's get into some size comparisons. Okay, so for the size comparisons, let's put, of course, you guys know that this is gonna happen stack him up with his best friend ever in the world deadpool this is the deadpool from the um hydro bob two pack i think it was a san diego comic-con exclusive but then it became like a i don't know how that works somehow i got it on hasbro pulse i don't even know if it's still there or whatever but i just got lucky i was like you know what screw it i'll check hasbro pulse for it and i looked it up and there it was and yeah, so, of course, you know, true to comics, Wolverine is a short guy, so I'm happy with this. This pair looks really good to me, and I can't wait to see the movie, man. I'm going to be seeing it soon. But, yeah, this is this is great. Like, I'm glad to see, like, Deadpool fits the Renew Your Vows body more than Spider-Man does, to be honest, because he is a full-blown adult. I know Spider-Man has been depicted as an adult and everything in the 90s, but I don't know, this body is more fitting for a character like him like i feel like this was made for him you know but um that's how he stacks up against deadpool so yeah this can work if you want this on your shelf over the uh classic suit here he is next to Sabretooth, and Sabretooth is a pretty chunky guy so taking a look at this it is crazy yeah that looks good too look at that i like that scaling Sabretooth has always been depicted bigger than Wolverine, so this is good to do too as well. If you guys, uh, 
I know some people like just one depiction of a character in their collection. So if like you have that um, X-Men 97 Wolverine, I don't know, that's up to you guys. You have a choice to make if like you would ever upgrade to this one. I'd say I would do it, me personally. But yeah, there's Sabretooth. Here he is next to movie Deadpool. Um, the Marvel Legends movie Deadpool, because uh, controversial take, but the SH figure arts one is too scrawny. I like this one more. And here he is next to the, I think this is the, um, there was two versions of them, one with the jacket and then this one. I like this one more because of the hair. And for you guys that got the re-release, you didn't get this hair, so that's tough. But also, I don't know, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Did you guys get the bone claws? Because I am so glad I got these. These are like, you hardly ever see these on a Wolverine figure. But yeah, let me know if you guys who got that re-release of these two, if you got the bone claws for him. But yeah, this scales, you know, Hugh Jackman's tall, so this is accurate to him. But yeah, I can't wait to get that figure. Have you guys seen that picture? Oh my gosh, yeah. San Diego Comic-Con reveals it better be there or else we riot. And as for the new Deadpool pick, um, I prefer the darker red for his suit, but I might end up getting that too, just to go with the new Wolverine. But yeah, okay, so overall I am happy with this guy. You know, um, I don't have any of the other astonishing X-Men figures, so I might track down that Cyclops and I still don't even have a beast for the display. So if they ever did an astonishing beast, I do have beasts on pre-order for Big Bad Toy Store. Where is it? Where's my beast? BBTS. But, um, yeah, anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff.